In this video, I'm going to show you how we made the game Missile Command. And this game is actually just a spreadsheet, so I'm going to upload the spreadsheet so that you can play it. Uh, you just need Excel 2010 to be able to do that. So this spreadsheet is actually made mostly out of conditional formatting. And what that means is that behind each one of these cells is a number, and there is a color associated with each number. And so you can't really see the numbers right now since the cells are just so tiny. And so I'm going to try and resize these cells for you. It's just a little bit tricky since these cells are so tiny. Okay, there we go. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And now we can see that there are numbers behind each one of these cells. This 9 here is coordinated with a lighter color, and this 4 here has got a darker color going with it. And so what we want to do is go under the Home tab, and under Conditional Formatting, go to Manage Rules, and you can see the rule that was made to build this spreadsheet. And so here we've got 1 coordinated with a darker color, 10 matched up with a lighter color. Uh, and if you wanted, you could actually change the colors. So let's say, make this blue. Um, now we can play this game in blue. Very simple. Kind of need a quick eye to see this, but you'll notice that um, as I click around, the numbers are being populated in the cell very quickly. So every time you destroy a missile, you do get this cool explosion effect here. And the way that's being done is through a macro. So the macro detects when you click inside this grid right here. And when you do click, it runs through this looped series of steps. And you can see them right here. It's just stepping through these one by one to show you that animated explosion effect. And also the way that the missiles are being generated. Uh, is that it's choosing at random a spot at the top of the screen and then it targets one of the remaining buildings, uh, the ones that are still standing. And then based on the starting and ending cells, it calculates a slope uh, and it calculates the corresponding x to y ratio or the column to row ratio for the cells. And also you see here that you have this uh, data bar right here and that's calculating how far along you are on the level. Uh, and so to see that, again, revisit the Home tab, go under Conditional Formatting, and there you have data bars. So if you want to see the code behind this spreadsheet, all you need to do is press Alt F11. And that'll bring you to the code as that's stored in the macros that you can check out. So thanks for tuning in to this edition of How It's Made.